Hello gorgeous, welcome to Sanctuary of Style. I'm Tiffany Hendra and I'm really excited about today's webisode. I know I say that about every webisode, but I'm really, really excited about today's and that's because we are talking about one of my favorite accessories in the world, the belt. The belt. The belt. <laughs> when I was preparing for this webisode, I noticed I've got belts in just about every nook and cranny in this closet. I just love them. I've been collecting them since I was a little girl, and I just think they are the exclamation point to an outfit. It can really jazz up a boring outfit. And the waist is one of the most feminine parts of a woman's body, so we can really use belts to enhance our figure. But on the flip side, the wrong belt can actually you know, wreck your figure. So today I'm gonna go through the five staple belts I think we should all have in our wardrobe, you know, those go-to belts. And then I'm gonna give you the right belt style for your specific torso and waist type. I'm not gonna go too much into what belt to pair with what outfit. That's something that's all individual. We all have different waist types, different styles. So that is actually your homework to get in your closet, play dress up, play around with your belts and try some different things. Okay, let's get started. The first belt I want to talk about is the wide black stretch belt. This is that go-to belt that we just love to throw on with anything. What I love about a plain black is that you can wear any color jewelry and I love that this has the crocodile so it adds some sheen, gives it a little bit of oomph but it's not like the belt that I'm wearing, which is almost like a piece of jewelry in itself. Obviously, I can only wear it with gold. So make sure to have a black, plain black, wide stretch belt. The stretch really <laughs> makes it so much more comfortable. I've got a few belts that are uh, just plain leather and they're so uncomfortable and you can't breathe. It's almost like the stretch jeans. Once you wear stretch jeans, you can't really go back to wearing normal jeans. It's too uncomfortable, right? So it's kind of the same with the stretch belt. It's just the perfect belt. The second staple belt we should all have in our wardrobe is the neutral skinny belt. And I actually prefer the black patent leather because it just adds a little bit of shine, looks great over a cardigan or a simple dress and just adds a little oomph. And if you're more bold and fashionable, always go for a skinny leopard belt. It's just, ugh, I just love it. It's like what I said with the shoes. If you're not quite sure what color to wear, always throw in leopard and you look instantly put together. The third staple belt we all should have is the brown leather belt for your jeans. And ladies, get these about a size bigger than you normally would. Sometimes I can even get larges in these because you want to wear them with your low slung jeans and you know that means it's the wider part of your hip. And make sure that they're about two inches so that it fits in your belt loops. This one is from Gap. I think Gap has the best selection of brown leather belt for your jeans. And the fourth belt we all should have is a metallic or a chain belt. And that is because when you are going out at night, you wanna add a little sparkle. It's the perfect thing to dress up your outfit. And I recommend getting a gold and a silver just to be on the safe side. And a great chain belt is just, it's just like a great piece of jewelry. And the last belt we should all have is the woven leather belt. I actually talked about this belt in a previous webisode and these belts are awesome because you can wear it up high. It just adjusts to any size. You can wear it down low. It is really the perfect belt. Or one like this, again, it just adjusts because of the woven. It is a brilliant, brilliant belt. You've gotta have one. Now let's get right into talking about the torso and waist types. Ladies, if you're fuller figured and a little meatier around the waist, the best belt for you is the wide stretch belt like I've been wearing today. And that's because it's comfortable, it holds everything in, gives you the illusion of a tinier waist, and make sure to stay away from the skinny belts. And that is because, think about it, it's like putting an elastic band around the meaty bits kind of hangs over. I recently saw an anchor woman. She had a beautiful figure. She was full figured, but she had this tiny belt just sucking in everything. And what happened was you couldn't even see the belt on the sides because the flesh was hanging over. So ladies, if you're fuller figured, stick to the wider belts. And if you do want to go for a skinnier belt, just make sure you don't go any skinnier than about an inch. 
you know we love these belts in the summertime we've been throwing them over our sundresses so for you a skinny belt is about this size if you are boyish stick straight belts actually are great for you because it can create the illusion of more curves you can wear just about any belt if you are straight up and down and you can actually wear belts over sweaters and uh, a lot of us can't do that because it adds weight but this belt is the perfect type of belt to add curves to you for you hourglass divas you Marilyn Monroe's of the world you can get away with a lot of different types of belts as well but if you have a super tiny waist and your hips are quite a bit larger the best alternative the best way to create balance between your waist and your hips is to wear low slung belts sitting on your hips and if you wear a belt like this up high around your waist yes your your waist is going to look tiny but it's going to make your hips appear much much larger and who wants that if you're short-waisted i run on the short-waisted side it's best to stay away from these really wide belts and that's because even on me it feels like the top of the belt is sitting just almost underneath my bra and what does that do it just makes you look even shorter waisted and a little frumpy the best bet for you is a belt that's about two inches wide try to stay away from the belts that are three inches wide and over and also a great thing to remember is don't go way too contrasty, meaning like a white top with a black belt. It just draws the attention to your short waist and makes you appear shorter. And the best way to go is maybe a monochromatic look like I'm wearing today. Black belt, black top gives you the illusion of being taller. Just a few final tips. Remember, a fashionista never feels like she has to match her accessories. I love to see a chocolate brown boot with a cognac belt. Don't be afraid to try some different things. And I love the most unusual places to get belts. I love vintage belts. I have got these belts are from the 70s and 80s. I think I could be considered a belt addict. I am a belt addict. And I love the belts that uh, snap in the back. I guess you would call this like a cummerbund belt. I got all of these at Forever 21. So really you can get the coolest belt anywhere. Obsessed with belts. If you found any of this helpful, I would love for you to comment below. Click like, share SOS with your girlfriends, and remember we're not just about all this fun external stuff. It's about doing whatever we can do to look and feel our best so that we walk out into the world, we're shining our light, and being the best that we can be. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.